What's up, everybody? Yo. We're here at the MF Lab, the SoCal Fishing Squad Lab. Oh, yeah. And we're going to show you guys how to properly set up a swim jig before you go fishing. What's up, everybody? Nick here, SoCal Fishing Squad. First of all, shout out to all you guys. Thank you for the support. Whoever copped a Razor Clam swim jig is going to get smacked. So just wanted to show you real quick how I rig a swim jig. Um, I was always taught to trim it to prevent short strikes. What I do is I take the jig and I hold it this way. This way I could get a vertical view of the side of the swim jig and the hook at the same time. I take my really sharp scissors, they're my trimming scissors, and I'll start probably midway and then just taper down just like that. What that does is it not only just trims the jig, but it'll also help the upper part of your jig flare out more when it hits the water and it opens up. So then I hold it up here, kind of trim it a little more, make it look real nice and neat. Like so, see how it already wants to flare out on its own. Trim the bottoms up, make it look real good. Then whatever craw I'm gonna pair it with, this happens to be a javelin. I'll take one and a half notches off the javelin. This is a four inch javelin, by the way, by Combat Jigs. Then you're gonna take it, you can see where the keeper's at right there on the war bait head. Pinch the weed guard, rig it up just like so. This is gonna come out right by the eyeballs. So it lines up real nice and neat. Right there, you see, perfect slot. Then you're ready to go. So only the paddles are sticking out and not part of the body. So it prevents short strikes and the spotties will choke it. And there you have it. A SoCal custom painted war bait swim jig. Razor clam colorway. I might drop them again, you never know.